Okay, let's uh, move forward. So good PM, no? uh, EA132, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, discuss case number three, which is the distributor fed at both ends in a concentrated loading. Okay, so let us have a brief recap of what we have done first. So we discussed no, uh, case number two, by the way, and that is uh, fed at one end if you have a uniform load. We also discuss no a case number one wherein you have one supply fed at one end and then you have a concentrated loading. How about if the case is uh, you already have two supply and it has concentrated loading at first? Okay, so in this case, no, since you have two no uh, voltages, no. At the right and on the left side no, of your screens, no, in terms of point A and point P in this case, uh, there's a possibility that the voltage voltages there at the and B can be equal or unequal. But again, no, those are two cases, but it can be solved no, by my algorithm, which we can uh, discuss here no, at, the, at this uh, video lecture. Okay, so that's uh, our uh, uh, discussion for today. So whenever possible that you have a long distributor, it is very practical that you have two okay, uh, supplies no? being uh, injected on, uh, at uh, sending or at the receiving endpoints. So again, it must be fed at both ends instead of one only. Since the voltage drop, as we have discussed, no, habang uh, lumalaki or it becomes the transmission no, becomes more longer, the drops no are become no more no or uh, uh asya, no becomes more so the voltage drop is increasing no considerably and it also reduces the voltage at the loading points which is very important so that's why you know in the event that you have this kind of situation it's very practical that you have two no uh voltage supplies at two ends of your distributor. So again, we have two uh, cases here, equal voltages or unequal voltage. So we can uh, consider you know, this distributor here you know, uh, at voltage A and B, you know, to be exact. You know, uh, rather, you know, this is a uh, distributor A to B. And there's a possibility since you have two sources and dependent on condition and the uh, current loading, there's a possibility there will uh, there will be a minimum point potential of or getting the V minimum or minimum voltage drop, okay? Or rather, not minimum, the minimum point potential or V min. Okay. Uh, the question is how you will get it, no? The uh, V minimum or the minimum, no? Feeding voltage point no wherein that is the point of minimum uh, voltage potential not minimum drop huh? okay please correct me on that so in this case no uh, we can consider no uh, two sources and definitely their currents okay will be at the opposite side there's a tendency no that one uh, at one of the node points no or uh, section points the voltage is almost zero no and in this case no the minimum point potential is held at for at e because if you already know that we can now solve you no know, some of the drops on the lateral in terms of uh, uh, the section curves okay but in this case, we need to locate that, no? And in this case, no, we have VE, the minimum point potential at VE. Now, the question is, since you have two uh, supplies, how can we deal with that? So there's an algorithm, no, in terms of how we will uh, compute for this. So we need to clear all of these paths here so let's see muna no yung uh, next slide okay so mas madali ito no na bigyan natin ng, uh, ng, uh, ng algorithm okay so this is for case 3 a lateral no with two 
supply or two feeding points. And the load is concentrated. Concentrated. Okay, now I have here no, a step-by-step -step procedure. It's not mentioned here, but again, it will be very effective. Okay, number one, no, you need to no, uh, assume your superior current. Assume a superior current. Oh, sorry for this. Superior current. I could say in this case, lagi naman tayo, we start at the left side. So I will make use of IA for this case. So in this case, we have IA. Okay, second, no, using KCL, okay, uh, develop the current equations for uh, current perception. So what is this current perception that I'm talking about? Oh, ito yun. No? So ito yung ICD. We have this ICD here. IDE. And then IEB. By the way, before I go with anything else, laging given ito, no? it is always, always given. Okay? Yung voltage at A, voltage at B, no? The current perception, uh, cur uh, uh, the uh, concentrated loads, I1, I2, and I3 in this case. no, And syempre, given then no, yung resistance per section, I could say yung R given yan, which we can compute with the total resistance no, by having R times L. Syempre, given then yung length, definitely. Okay, so in this case, no, ang hindi lang given yung current per section, we need to develop that and we can use by using it by KVL or simply by analysis. Okay, I will uh, make use of a uh, green here. So, hindi bongbong sara yan, ha? nagkataon lang po. Ha? Okay, baka mga politika tayo rin. Eh. Yung ICD dito, how can you compute if, IA, uh, if I1, I2, I3 is given and then IA will be our unknown because that will be the one we'll, that we will compute. So to get ICD here, it's definitely by KCL IA minus I1. That's the first equation for ICD. Now, how can you get IDE here? So IA minus I1, I2, right? So forth. So this is IA minus I1 minus I2 minus I2. Okay. So you already know the current per section. Okay, next. Number three. You need to solve for IA from, no, from the voltage drops using your simple KBL. Okay, this is what I meant here. No? So we can have here no, a, uh, uh, a loop. I could say loop one. Okay, let's move at loop number one. I could say this is VA and this is VB. Now, the flow of the currents will be from left to right. So please take note of that. No? So this is plus minus, plus minus, and we have the overall drop. I could say plus and minus here, right? So by KBL, no, and using FIFO method or first in, first out, we'll make use of first in. And that will be negative VA, no? Plus the voltage drop along the lateral AB, then plus VB, right? Equality sign to. Are you sinising it? Ito lalabas o? Ah, VB. Equality sign to. Yan ang equation. So ibig sabihin, guys, no? The voltage drop at VAB. Is the summation of all of the voltage drops you no know, at your sections, right? So dito na lang mag-aano ito, no? Dito na lang magmanipulate. If case number one is e 
uh, voltage are equal, no? Okay, uh, ibahin natin ito. If equal, I will have pink para balance, no? If VA equal to VB, then this will become zero, right? If VA is not equal design to VB, and then that is not equal to zero for the second case. The voltage drop at AB will be computed by having no, the current per section and multiply by the resistance. And that will be the voltage drop per section. And you need to have it in, uh, in a summation way. You need to add. Diba? That's it. That's the equation. Na naka, ano, no? naka, naka box. And no more and no less. That will be your algorithm. And number four. If you solve for IA, solve uh, or rather oh, get the first negative shift of the current. And then if you already get the first negative shift, you can now determine the minimum point potential. This is the method for getting the v minimum v minimum point potential so ano ba yung negative shift sir okay now iano natin erase natin ha erase natin yung iba dito para ano na no uh, uh, wala nang problema no so in this case ang ibig sabihin dito you already get ia no you already already computed for ia now if you already get got ia you can now compute for the currents here which is ima minus mo doon sa feeding currents, which is given on the problem. Now, for example, na-compute mo ito. So, ibig sabihin, positive siya. There's a tendency na mag-negative ang value ng isa dyan. Kunyari, nag-negative yung value ng IDA. Nag-negative yung value. And that's the first negative shift. no? So, kapag nag-negative na dito yan, okay, at positive dito kay ICD, the minimum point potential will be located at point D. Ayan ang ibig na sabi. So, isa-substitute mo yung IA based on TCL kanina and then get the, uh, uh, get the negative shift from section currents. Okay, sorry for this. Section currents. Okay, so since recorded naman yan. Oh, yan lang yung algorithm that you need to know for this no uh, case to getting the minimum point potential and we have an example later to understand what we're talking about here. but anyway the main equation is ito po no yung nakakakamping sorry for that ayan mm. naka-check no yan po yan lang ang gagamitin the rest is a little bit of this analysis okay let's uh, move on so that you can uh, see what i'm talking about so the rest here no is just what I meant. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Yung voltage drop at AB. Okay? So, magsisiro lang ito if equal, not equal to zero, if not, uh, not equal. So, yung voltages at the feeding points. Okay, so ito yung sinasabi nating direction. So, ang ibig sabihin ng positive, guys, di ba? Uh, meaning to say that your current follows the convention. Pag nag-negative, ibig sabihin the current flow will be the opposite. Kaya kapag nag-opposite yung current doon, the minimum point potential is located at point E. Kaya nga dapat malaman mo yung first negative shift and then you shift and you can now get that current. Ay, that, ano, that, uh, that minimum point potential. Pwede naman kasi mag-start tayo sa B. Eh. Pag ganun yung superior current. Pero we are already, no, uh, in a sense that we already assume that the current is from left to right. Right from your end. Okay, we start at A. Paganun siya, right? So again, don't uh, wag na natin don't confuse ourselves, and that is our default, right? You can also use the default at B, as, uh, uh, unless you uh, uh, use no the uh, KCL law. No, as long as you use KCL and KVL, then di ka maliligaw na bata magpakailan na. Okay, now, ito naman yung two uh, two ends fed at an equal voltage. The only difference as I mentioned is this. Ayan, no? Ito. Hindi yan zero on the left side of the equation. 
Okay, we have this uh, example so that we can illustrate. So very easy lang ito. What we'll do is go, go to the uh, solution proper with, you know, uh, with, uh, uh, with the problem itself. So problems five and six, yeah? Okay, we'll uh, um, uh, read the problem first. Okay, A two-war DC street means you know, having AB 600 meter long is fed at both ends at 220 volt. The loads, which is 20 ampere, 40 ampere, 50 ampere, and 30 amperes, are tapped at 100 meter, 250 meter, 400 meter, and 500 meters from A. If you take the cross sectional area of, distribute of the distributor is one centimeter, we need to find the minimum consumer voltage considering 1.7 times 10 negative 6 ohm centimeter. So, ito looks pam na ito. No? This is the resistivity of your copper conductor, right? Kasi 2.83 yung aluminum. If you cannot, if, excuse me, if you can still recall, tapos 10.38 uh, yung ano, uh, 10. Uh, uh, 38 yung ano nito eh, di ba? 10.4 yung uh, ohm simil per fit niya in terms of English. But anyway, since given naman, no problem at all, no? Ang sistema lang dito is we need to assume a meter, uh, a length, no? Per meter length kasi in order to get R, you need R times L, no? And R must be in ohm per unit length. So we need to assume a length. So we can assume one meter in this case for simplicity purpose, no? Per unit length. Okay, now in this case, gawin muna natin yung tinatawag nating single line diagram. Don't bother muna ito, pero madada ito to yung may mga values dito. The single line diagram unang-una ay ito yan, no? Itong naka-blue. So the question is paano nakuha itong current per section? Okay, from the algorithm itself, number 1. We need to determine first, no? Follow the red mark, ha? Your superior current. I could say IA. So superior current mo siya, no? That's the first step, right? What we have uh, discussed a while ago. And then after you get the superior current, get the current per section. In order to get the current per section at ICD, it's pretty clear no, by KCL at point C. To get this current given 20 ampere and unknown IA, IA minus 20, right? So ito yan. Now, get IDE. Now, the current is 20 plus 40 in this case. And get this current here. In order to get this current here by KCL at point D, this is IA minus 20 and 40, right? Which is 60 amperes. And then you will do it on the same thing on the next section. So this will become no, in current IEF. IA minus 110 is 50 plus 40 plus 20, 110 po yan. And then this one is IA minus 140, that is IFB. Okay? So no problem at all no? in terms of the current perception. Okay, now since we already have that, we can now move forward now no? to getting the resistance per meter length of the conductor because we need to get the voltage drop, right? So, ang sunod kasi, nakuha na natin yung current per section, we need to apply KVL and get the voltage drop per section which is equal to the no, uh, difference between the voltage at A and B respectively. Now, since I have already assumed 1 meter length, so alam na natin rho L all over A, the answer is 2.4 times the negative 4 ohm per meter length. And multiply it by the length as we have discussed. No? Okay. Multiply it by the corresponding lengths okay, of the conductor, no, which is already defined no, on your single line diagram. Please take note, by the way, I did not discuss no, yung, ano na, no, yung, uh, yung sa single line diagram because we already have this no, discussion in how to deal with this. Kasi given naman 100 meter, 20 ampere, tapos... 250 meter with respect to A, a 150 and 4 D. And then 400 meters naman no, for 50 ampere. So 150, 150, 100 with respect to A, 400, etc. So we already done with that. And very basic in how you will uh, deal with the SLD of this DC distributor, right? Okay, now by multiplying it by R times L, we have the following values of the resistance. 
you compute, uh, if you multiply it by the current per section, then viola, you have the voltage drop in one section, get the summation, and then you have the total voltage drop. Okay, now let's uh, move on. No? So clear all the paths here, move on. And please take note what we have done so far a while ago that the voltage drop difference simply equal to the summation of all of the voltage drops no, per section basis. So this is our main equation since in, we have case number one, huh? VA is equal to VB, then this one will become zero for this problem. Okay, as we have discussed, so ito yan. So please take note, don't worry about no, this. Kasi if we interchange the equation, it will yield to this. Eh. Diba? Para mangyayari, VA minus VB equal to voltage drop capacity. Okay, in this case, ito na yung uh, voltage drop natin no, per section. And the resistances already given or defined on the last slide. And thus, we have this main equation here. Zero na ito eh. No? Kung titignan natin mabuti. And if you shift solve on your calculator, then we can solve for IA current. And our main goal here is this 61.67. Okay, now since we have that 61.67, now it's very clear now how to see you know, the current per section you know, flow. And another one here is we can now get the minimum point potential. Okay, I can erase you know, some of the highlights here. And we have that answer, 61.67. Right? Go back, few slides back. Then we can now see the value of uh, the uh, first negative shift. Okay, our next uh, from the algorithm number four is to get the first negative shift. Okay, positive siya, 61.7. 61.7 minus 20, positive pa rin ang value. So tama ang current. So please take note of the current. Okay, 61.7 minus 60, positive pa rin lalabas. 1.7 ampere positive. Now, definitely, no, 61.7 minus 110 is a negative value. That's the first negative shift. So since you have the first negative shift, then the first transition give us the last uh, feeding point. And this is the minimum point potential at point E. And the rest will follow. All you have to do is to uh, uh, have 61.7 substituted to the current per section. Okay. If you want to have the value. Okay. The question is, how can you get the voltage at E? No, KBL lang yan. No? So as you can see, as usual, no, if you use the KBL here, so plus minus, that is negative VA. Then you have a drop from VAE, right? That is the voltage drop to E. And it is plus minus no, based on the current flow here. So that is V drop E. And then this one is plus minus to ground. So it will be VE, equality sign to zero. So therefore, if you want to get VE, it's VA minus V drop at point. So very easy to understand. No? And then that will be the one you know, that you will use to get that voltage at that point. Okay. Clear this up. Then see what happens next to the solution. Okay. These are the values that will happen. What uh, that will uh, be the values and what will happen to the next uh, to the current per section. So ito na ang lumabas sa atin dito. Okay. As I mentioned, to get the minimum voltage drop, no uh, value your VA and this is the voltage drop along no A to E or voltage drop at E which is IAC, IAC or IA times RAC ICD times RCD and then IDE times RDE so hanggang dito yung voltage drop na yan syempre yan galing dito o kaya tatlo yan so in this case using the values that we already have 
So given na halos lahat ito, no? All of the values already give, uh, defined, no? From the last few slides, the answer for the minimum voltage drop value is 215.69 volts. Okay, problem five and six are similar. The only difference is unequal lang yung voltage. So both sending and receiving ends. But we do the same algorithm, I tell you. Kaya it's very um, uh, ano na, no? easy to understand because of the procedure that I gave a while ago. So just application of that. So let's move forward to number six. No? We read the problem first. A two-word DC distributor AB fed at both ends at feeding point A. It's maintained at 230 and the and the uh, and the other is 235. The total length of the distributor is 200 meters with the following load taps uh, top off as under. Okay, we already have that on the screen. No, so the resistance per kilometer of one conductor is 0.3. So you need to multiply it by two to get the total. We need to get the current per sections and the minimum voltage and the point where it occurs. So it's also the same thing with problem number five. The only difference is, ayan, the 235 volt. Okay, so again, what you will do is to get, uh, to draw the SLD, which is based on the description of the lot of the distributor. So we have already, you know, this one, and then from the our uh, solution here, get you know, the superior card IA. And then by KCL, you can now get current per section, 75, 25 plus 30, you have 105. And then 25 plus 50, 30 plus 40 is 145. Then you have the current per section. Then get the resistances so that we can have the voltage drop. And then from there, we can calculate for IA. Okay, by doing so, no. don't forget that you need to multiply it by 2. Diba? Dahil both wires, yeah. And this is 0 0.6, no? And this is per kilometer basis. So you expect this is divided by 1,000 meters. So that's why there's a division of 1,000 meters because you have per kilometer basis and multiply it by the length following the equation R times L. Then we have the following resistances. And after that, no, get no the voltage uh, drops along the line by following what we have a while ago. This is also the same equation. Don't worry about that. Okay, lalabas din ito. So, but VA minus VB is not equal to zero anymore. Okay, by doing so, no. You can now get the current IA here by using shift solve on your calculator. And thus, you can now get the current no, per section. IA is equal to 33.34 amperes. Okay, by doing so, going back, no, Q slides back. If that is 33.34 by common sense, no, uh, ito, dito mangyayari yung first negative shift, di ba? And voltage at D is the minimum point potential. And thus, if you are listening a while ago, by technique na ito, if you want to get the VD here, get v, uh, VA is already given, minus the total voltage drop from A to D. Okay? Which is this voltage drop at AC and CD respectively. Okay? And all of the parameters is already defined na. Kasi makukumpute mo na no, yung current per section on this lateral. Because you already have IA. Okay, if you do so, no? O yan, ito na yung computation. And this is the values already. Get the voltage drop along AD. So the voltage drop along AD is this. All of the parameters already defined. And you subtract it by 230. The answer for this problem is 220.88 volts. Okay, I think that will be enough no, for the discussion for this lecture. No, so we can clear this up.
no a very informative technique no? that I already given to you and the application is this problem five pieces okay we can uh, uh, stop the video recording thank you very much